Do you take that into account, or is that irrelevant to how you prepare? Um, no, not personally. I, you know, we've got blokes like Taylor Walker and that coming back into the side, and we've had, uh, you know, Kurt miss a couple of, you know, few quarters of the last few games, and, and we've still kicked a fair few goals. And you know, we back in blokes like Sammy Jacobs and uh, Josh Jenkins to stand up and, and uh, share the load. Touched on Tex here. How much of a bonus is it to have him back in the side after three weeks? Yeah, it's um it's massive for us. Um, he's such a such a pivotal part of our attack, and um, I, I love playing with him. He always sticks up for me, and um, you know he's such a talented player. So it's great to have him back. Just last year, he had a bit of a tougher season. What do you think has been the difference this year for him? Um, yeah, I'm not real sure. There's, it could be a number of things, really. I think. Um, you know, Sando's brought in a real relaxed environment, and I think Taylor's just just playing his natural game and. Um, really benefiting from that. Do you think he's one of those real old uh, fashion type full forwards that needs to play that way? So not too complicated? Uh, yeah, I reckon so. I think um, you know, history suggests that that, that way. So, um, you know, he's uh, been in great form and we know that when he comes back he's going to do the same for us. What are his strengths as a player? Well, that's the thing. He um, He's not just a you know tall forward who just marks and he's good in the air. He's, he can do it on the ground as well, so it's hard for uh, you know defenders to match up on him. So um, having him back in the side is going to be great for us. And obviously, there's another emerging key forward at the other end of the ground this uh, week in Tom Hawkins. He's really lifted this season too. Yeah, yeah, he's been uh, really good. I think, you know, from the grand final last year, he's uh, just taken another step ahead and, um, you know, he's going to be a handful, but... Uh, you know, we've got blokes like Dan Talia, Ben Rutten, all those boys, and, um, you know, we'll back them in to, to do the job. Jared, in terms of um, goal assist and that kind of thing, I think you're right up there in the competition. Is that something you pride your game um, on? Oh, I don't know. It would be nice to kick a few more goals, I guess, but, um, you know, the, the boys all, all sort of, um, you know, thank me for when I give them the goals and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I guess it's just just comes naturally, I guess. If you're not kicking them, you might as well give them off. Yeah, that's it. If I can be a part of it and do whatever um, helps us succeed and win, uh, I guess I'll just keep trying to do that. Last time you played Geelong, you had a really good game yourself. And from memory, you restricted Corey Enright as well as having an impact. Do you like the gig on Corey again? Uh, yeah, I, I guess so. I think I haven't really spoken to Sando or anyone about it just yet, but um, yeah, I suppose it's in the back of my mind. I think I'll be, you know, I had to play on, on Hearn on the weekend, and um, you know, I'm sort of preparing to play against, uh, play another role like that. He's he's such a great player and um, really sets up their attack. So um, if I can keep him quiet and help the rest of the team out, uh, you know, I'll be happy to do it. Um, well, I've sort of had to play a bit of a, a selfless role as. You know, we touched on earlier, um, and you know, just to stick at it. You know what I mean? I'm not like I'm not kicking the goals and, and doing getting a lot of touches, but um, what I'm doing for the team is is uh, is apparently really important. So I just keep doing that. Tackling pressure's probably been the thing, and, and Sando clearly loves that sort of stuff. Is it in front of that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, my teammates sort of um, you know drive drive me to do that as well, and it's not not just the coaching staff. Um, you know, we have our meetings and the players say, you know, they sort of, um, you know, rev me up to, to keep doing it and um, just, you know, tell them it gives us gives them all the spark. So, um, you know, when you hear that you're doing things well, you just want to keep doing them. Jared, I don't think you did much this morning with training. Is everything OK? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I, I just, uh, you know, first game back after having a pretty, uh, pretty light couple of weeks, um, you know, just... Getting ready to uh, main train tomorrow and uh, get ready for the weekend. So you're good to go? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to go. Continue you Park, one of the last real home ground advantages. Um, how do you win there? Is, uh, I suppose Sanderson and Melbourne will give you a few nice tips. Um, yeah, well, I, I think, you know, we saw what Geelong did on the weekend. You know, you can't you can't rule them out this time of year. They're, they're a champion team. And, um, you know, last time we played down there, they absolutely smashed us. So... I think our, our aim is to, uh, to have a fast start like we did uh, early against them this year and um, you know, try and get a jump and uh, just play our brand of footy. Like you say, they're starting to hit their straps. What does, it, what does a win do, especially on their home ground this close to a finals game? Um, oh, well, obviously, you know, it just keeps building us the, the confidence for us. Uh, you know, we're, 
taking on these these uh, potential top four sides, as West Coast and things like that, and it uh, just you know builds it builds their confidence. And you know, so if we come up against them later in the year or, or whenever we um, you know we we know we can match it with them. Do you really hang on to that? Like if you do knock them off beforehand? Um, yeah, some some blokes might. I, I think I uh, you know last couple of years we haven't come anywhere near. You know teams like this, so to uh, <laughs> to um, you know beat teams like West Coast, Geelong, you know the Hawthorns, it uh, holds us in good stead. And you know next time we we know we can do it. And just on Tippett, and they say recovery is a real indicator of how the concussion is going. How did he seem? Did he seem like he was gonna like, really want to play this week, or is he sort of accepting that he's missing? Um, no, he, he seemed alright. I think you know Tippo obviously wants to get get out there as, as soon as he can, and um, you know. The, we, you know, trust the doctors that aren't going to, uh, you know, push him and, and make any uh, stupid decisions. His, his health is the main priority. So, uh, get that right first and go from there.